Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I wanted to share this decorative box that I had been working on. It is inspired by the restoration hardware style that we all know and love so much. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So I got this idea because I came across these wood boxes on Amazon and they come in all different sizes and they are a real wood and the price point is just really good. I could not pass up this box without a good DIY. The boxes come, um, like I said, real wood and they come with these little metal hinges. They open and close. They are very, very lightweight but they are real wood and perfect for a DIY. So to start I used the Rust-Oleum Painters Touch Ultra Cover in flat black and this is a matte spray paint and I just went through and sprayed the hinges. I gave those a couple minutes to dry and then flipped the box over to do the opposite side of the hinges which also needed a quick little spray as well. And the hinges on the inside can use a quick little spray too. One of my favorite things about using spray paint is that it dries super fast, especially outside on a warm day. So to get some of that distressing and that style that we really want for this box, I'm going to be using my Ryobi Jigsaw and it is fitted with the fine blade and I'm just going to go in and really cut up the sides and mess it up really good. Uh, of course, you always want to be safe when using power tools and things like that, um, safety glasses and be careful for your fingers. Overall, this is a pretty fun process, I think, and it's fun to get to distress things, and the more distress you want, I feel like the more character it brings. And these are very lightweight boxes, so you don't want to go completely crazy, um, but you do want to have some fun and give it a good distress, but don't go overboard. And don't worry about all the shavings or the splintering or anything like that. All of it will get really smooth once we get some sandpaper on it. But in the meantime, look at all of that wear and distress. That's exactly what we want. And it's really starting to take shape. And I'm going to introduce you guys to one of my newest favorite tools, these wire brushes on a drill attachment you can get them on amazon for just around ten dollars for this set and they are amazing for distressing there are so many different attachments that you can use but i found um, that there were several that i really stuck to for this box and you can see it really gets in there and just kind of frays the wood and opens up all of the grain and brings so much more texture to just that plain box. These wire brush attachments are a must have for your toolbox, especially if you like distressing. Of course, like any other tools, you wanna make sure that you're wearing safety glasses because there are a lot of pieces flying around, but you guys look at that texture. Oh my gosh. And this is really the look that I was going for, that raw wood texture and all of that really gritty um, style and all of this is going to look really, really good. I did do some distressing on the inside as well just because I want everything to match. And after all of that distressing, I went in with some 150 grit sandpaper and this is going to make it very, very smooth and get rid of any of those splinters or anything that's kind of hanging out or coming off. And go ahead and sand the whole box until everything is smooth to the touch. So for this box, I wanted a little fake keyhole that really has no function. It's just kind of there for decorative but I wanted it to look old and kind of used and just kind of messed up. So I went in and just drew a little keyhole where I wanted. 
And then I went in with my drill, fitted with a drill bit, and drilled a hole straight through um, towards the top of the keyhole. And after that, I did one more towards the center and then two more towards the bottom, and it gave it that little keyhole shape that I was going for. So after that, I'm going to take an old washcloth and remove any dust or dirt or any shavings or anything that's left on the box. And you can use any type of black paint that you have on hand. I had this black interior paint in a satin sheen, so it is in the color Midnight Stroll. And my favorite way to get a really nice finish on something like this is to use the foam rollers and it just gives you that nice finish and you don't see any brush marks. And just a quick heads up, a lot of the things that I mentioned in this video are products that you can find online and on Amazon. So I will link as much as I can in the description box below. So if you'd like, check it out there. And don't get worried, all of that gorgeous texture that we have on this box is not going anywhere, although it does look like we're covering it up with paint. We're not done yet, so just hang in there. And now that the box is all painted and dried, we are going to go outside and just using any type of dirt from outside, um, I'm going to rub this all over the box. And our dirt is kind of a combination of sand and some rocks and dirt and I'm just going to pick that up with a glove and rub it into all of these little cracks and crevices and you can see all of that texture that the brown is really bringing out and that's the look that we want to go for. It's that uh, age, distress, like you just found it type of style. I really like to work the dirt into those textures and all of those little cracks and crevices just so that it brings out um, a lot more dimension. And once you are all done with the dirt, you can take an old uh, cloth and wipe everything down really well because you're going to want to lock it in. And to do that, I am using the Krylon Matte Finish Spray. I really, really like this spray. I feel like it's a really good one. It dries super matte. There's no like glossy sheen whatsoever and it locks everything in. So all of that dirt is not going to fall off or make a mess or anything. It really does a good job. And these boxes are so cute. You can find really any place in your house to use them or put them for more decor. I personally want to use mine to hide like remotes and things like that, but they also look super cute on a bookshelf or styled in any way that you can think of. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this provided a little bit of inspiration for a quick DIY that you can do at home. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.